Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another beer review. Now, I think this is the last one that we got from m and and uh, it's, uh, it's a Mary Stout. It's from the Carlow Brewing Company, County Carlow, um, Ireland. And it says here, m and dark roasted, bittersweet, with an intense coffee and chocolate finish, an authentic recipe introduced around 1740. Now, we have had other ones that are basically 1899. No, it's from the original recipe in 1899. And the buggers were putting uh, chocolate flavours in it and uh, they were using glucose syrup. So, anyway, it's uh, an Irish stout, 4.5%. There we go. Put it this way. Is there any spill on the back? Oh, about this beer. The Irish Stout is brewed by Carlow Brewing Company. A unique blend of roasted malts and bitter hops ensures a deliciously balanced and smooth flavour. A perfect match for seafood. Here we go, here we go. Especially oysters. <laughs> it's absolutely that. Uh, as well as hearty warming food such as pies and beef casseroles. <laughs> Seafood pies and beef casseroles. Because that's, I've got to admit, when I'm sitting down for a meal, that I've got to have seafood to start with, and then I've got to have maybe some pies. <laughs> then I've got, let's finish up with the beef casserole. <laughs> it basically writes as shit. Seriously. Utter bollocks. But uh, the thing that's got me is a blend of roasted malts and bitter hops. This is a stout. It's all about the roasted grains in a stout, not about the roasted malts. Roasted malts is your porter. So again, alarm bells are ringing either. They just don't have a clue. Whoever's written this doesn't have well, we can, we can know the clue. And they're basically saying, oh, it goes lovely with oysters and uh, meaty pies and... Beef casserole. Ooh, you know. Mm. So maybe they're getting a mistake between roasted greens and roasted malts. So maybe they're just that. But yeah. And at four and a half percent, well. But apparently it's brewed in Ireland. Mm -hmm. So it says, right, so we crack it open then. And see what else we're going to get with it. I I've had the balloon. Got open around the right way. Oh, come on, open your bum. There we go. Right. Let's crack this open. Get it bored. Right. Oh, shoot, that's in my trousers. Did that happen? God, it won't start with me. So, well, at least there doesn't appear to be any stupid flavours added to it. I'm not adding any kind of spices or any other stupid things, you know, so... One of the reasons why I went for it. So there we go. For the people on the podcast, that is Jet Black, a bit of a tanned head, maybe about half a finger. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'm to hold it in the right way. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Smell wise. A strange smell. Mm. I'm getting slightly kind of creamy carrot. Do you ever remember there used to be a kind of a, a chocolate bar? Well, it was a kind of a chocolate bar. It was a kind of mixture between a kind of white chocolate and caramel. And it was called Caramac. I think Cadbury's did something kind of similar recently, where it was a slightly kind of a mixture between kind of white chocolate and uh, caramel. I'm trying to remember what they called it. But this has a smell of a kind of caramel chocolate, yeah. So, yes, it's got slightly caramel toffee tones mixed in with kind of white chocolate, kind of cream, you kind of, and it does, it just smells confectionery. It doesn't smell like beer, it smells like confectionery. 
which again is a worry, it being supposed to be an Irish stout and made from roasted grains, it should be, you know, quite bitter. But the aroma's not giving me that. And that's quite worrying. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. What the fuck is that? Oh god. Oh that's I don't know. I honestly don't know what to make of that flavour. I've never come across that flavour in beer. And, uh, my initial reaction right now is I uh, hope to god I never do again. <laughs> Seriously. It's like It's... You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a really strong dark coffee that somebody's put maybe a teaspoon of condensed milk in and mixed it. And you've got this little kind of highlights of condensed milk and you've got this slightly kind of coffee bitterness. And yeah, it just tastes kind of imbalanced and oh. right. Oh, oh, it's giving me more. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see where I'm getting the caramel smell. Because there is that kind of slightly emulated flavour of maybe slightly kind of burnt condensed milk to it. Next with coffees. The problem is there is some stout flavours there. And there is a bitterness that isn't too bad. But with these other flavours, it just doesn't feel natural. It feels a bit synthetic. Which is strange. It's just it's some of the flavours, I mean... just doesn't work. Really, it does not work. good thing is, I've actually got some good beers coming up over the kind of Christmas festive period. And I've purposely went out my way to get beers from really good breweries. Um, give or take. I know there's ones there that are good breweries and there should be nice beers. So I'm looking forward to them. And these ones are just kind of slightly kind of more kind of festive, kind of wintry kind of beers done by the supermarkets, although not many of the supermarkets are doing it. Although I do have some Yorkshire beers coming up as well, which uh, I'm looking forward to as well, because they're just, I think they're going to be quite nice. So these are ones that are kind of, well, these are the ones that are kind of being promoted, right, but they're kind of, winter season and festive season in the supermarkets. There isn't that much there. There was a couple from Sainsbury's. But there was more in M&S and uh, yeah, well, they haven't been doing too well. It's dying down a bit. It's not too bad. There's a sweetness there as well that just... It's not enough for a milk stout, but um, too much for a kind of more traditional stout, especially uh, an Irish one. But just looking at the ingredients, 
So there's water, malted barley, contains gluten, roasted barley, well that's good. Contains gluten, yeah, we know that. Flaked barley, okay, fine, contains gluten. Wheat, contains gluten. Hops, carbon dioxide, and yeast. So there's nothing there added, there's no lactose, there's no nothing. I just don't know where they're getting some of these flavours from. I honestly really don't know. As you can see, the flavours are just kind of holding. I can't even take a proper glug of this. Just because... It's just... Strange. It really is quite strange. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's just... Oh God. Um, yeah, it's lacking. It's not as much of a culture shock as the first couple of sips. But it hasn't settled down enough. I'm trying to get my mouth acclimatised to it. It's just not really working. Doesn't taste like any Irish stout that I've ever tasted. Doesn't taste like any more traditional stout that I've tasted. It's just... There's some unnatural flavours there that are just overpowering it and you have this sweetness that's just too much for an Irish stout but not enough like I said for a, a milk stout and it's just no it's just no, it's just not nice I'm trying but I just can't get no I mean I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I'm glad when this review is over, I can get this down in the sink. It's like that. And that, that's just, if you're basically just cracked up with a bottle and you're tasting, you think, oh, I'm going to put this down in the sink. That really isn't a good place to be. And especially if it's a an Irish brewery making it an Irish stout. Well, I mean, as a good example of, Irish stouts, you've got the Guinness, you've got the Beamish, you've got the Murphys. Beamish being the best out of the three, especially with the more smokier flavour and everything else. In my view, Murphys would then come second in that kind of trio and Guinness would be third. But there's a bit of a gap between the other two and Guinness, Guinness being the, the weaker of the three, Beamish being a lot more flavours. You've got all these other ones like is it O'Hara's? Again, slightly more gimmicky and again you've got this Forge Stout as well. But yeah, I mean I'll be totally honest. Even the Black Heart Stout from um, Brewdog is far better than this. I'm trying to even, I can't even break down the flavours because you've just got these horrible off flavours that are like kind of slightly, like I said, it's like kind of slightly kind of burnt, um, evaporate, not evaporated milk, uh, condensed milk added to a strong espresso shop. And it is, it's just, that's all that. And again, you're not really getting beer flavours. You're not getting more traditional stout flavours. And yeah, it's just again, like I said, there's all these kind of strange flavours at the front and the beer flavours are just pushed to the back and really not class as important and absolutely no, no respect paid to them. And it's like, oh, you know, it's like that. And yeah. I, I honestly really don't know. Again, I think it's potentially a, a stocking filler and, yeah. Maybe, oh, such and such drinks, Guinness. Oh, well, 
there's an Irish down there at M&S, get that as a wee stocking for or a secret Santa or something like that. That type of thing, because he usually drinks Guinness when at the Christmas party or whatever and things like that. And yeah. I mean, I'm sure when he's half cut at the Christmas party and receiving that as a secret Santa or on Christmas Day as a stocking for, oh, that would be nice now, I'll have that later on. Well, I hope to God you will. Tanked up and all that stuff before you get your, your lips around this. Jesus God. Mm. No, no, it's just not, no, it's not balancing out. Yeah, it's like caramel meats. Meets coffee, not particularly good one, and it's just, no. It does feel slightly unnatural and slightly synthetic as well. It just, again, some tells me that they've added flavours there, that they're not writing on the label, and it's just, certain aspects of it just doesn't taste natural. So I'm not going to try and break down the flavours because... The main flavours aren't particularly nice and they're not worth it. The beer flavours is what people buy beer for. It's just kind of hidden behind all this other rubbish. And it's just, you know. So, what would I give this out of 10? Again, you get a point for the bottle. It's, it, for me, it's undrinkable. I've tried. It's just it's just rubbish. I, I can't recommend it. If somebody does give you a stocking filler, then... If they don't drink beer, then again, yeah, you can probably forgive them. If they do drink beer, maybe they're trying to be nice and all that, but unless they've tasted it themselves, um, my view is if they do get it, then reciprocate, get them a bottle say, look, who are you? Remember that uh, story you probably gave us? Or well, that secret Santa? Hey, you have a go at it. You try it and, and see what you think. And yeah. It's just, it's just rubbish. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what these breweries are doing. I mean, again, yeah, maybe they're done to a price point and maybe they are supposed to be a stocking filler or whatever. But they are just so wide of the market. It's just ridiculous. I mean, there must have to be a big element of embarrassment when they're putting that stuff in the bottle from the breweries. That's if they have any kind of uh, self-pride and self-worth. If they don't, then you know, fuck it. You know what I mean? I've got no sympathy for them. So, yeah. One out of ten. Can't recommend it. Utter rubbish. Avoid. Don't buy it for people as stocking fillers. Don't encourage these buggers because, seriously, you're just wasting the money. And, again, you're just buying a lot of crap that people will probably hate you for. thinking, ah, that fucking bought me that. Ah, we just see who fucking gets next year. You know, it'll be something like that. Because if somebody bought me this as a stocking filler or a secret Santa, what? Well, I'll be waiting for them next year. Oh, next time around. <laughs> oh, yes. It's payback. I mean, that's how I would think. But maybe I'm just a nasty person. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. And bye for now.